Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to episode 4. Let's get started. Our first word is acanthology, which is a noun that is the study of spines, as in sea urchins or certain spiny-headed worms. Our second word is acapella, which is an adverb and adjective that means without instrumental accompaniment or in the style of church or chapel music. Our third word is acarology, which is a noun that is the branch of zoology dealing with mites and ticks. Our fourth word is acarophobia, which is a noun that is an irrational or disproportionate fear of bites or infestation by small parasitic insects or mites, causing crawling or itching sensations on the skin. Our fifth word is acatalectic, which is an adjective that means not catalectic, complete. It is also a noun that means a line of a verse that has the full number of syllables. Our sixth word is acausal, which is an adjective that means not arising from a cause or not involving causation, not causal. Our seventh word is exceed, which is a verb used without an object that means to give consent, approval, or adherence, agree, assent. For example, he exceeded to the terms of a contract. It can also mean to attain or assume an office, title, or dignity, succeed. She exceeded the throne. Our eighth word is accelerant which is a noun that is something that speeds up a process. It can also mean a substance that accelerates the spread of fire or makes a fire more intense. For example, arson was suspected when the investigators found accelerants at the scene of the fire. Our ninth word is accelerate, which is a verb used with an object that means to cause faster or greater activity, development, progress, advancement, etc. For example, we need to accelerate our efforts to combat climate change. It is also a verb used without an object that means to move or go faster, increase in speed. Our tenth word is accelerogram, which is a noun that is a graphic record in chart form produced by an accelerograph in response to seismic ground motions. Our eleventh word is accelerograph, which is a noun that is an accelerometer containing a pendulum device for measuring and recording ground motions produced by earthquakes. Our twelfth word is accelerometer, which is a noun that is an instrument for measuring acceleration, typically that of an automobile, ship, aircraft, or spacecraft. Our thirteenth word is accent which is a noun that means a distinctive mode of pronunciation of a language, especially one associated with a particular nation, locality, or social class. For example, the exchange student had a strong German accent. It can also mean a distinct emphasis given to a syllable or word in speech by stress or pitch. It is also a verb that means to give special attention or prominence. For example, the columns really accent the vertical lines of the new building. Our fourteenth word is accentuate, which is a verb used with an object that means to give emphasis or prominence to. For example, the custom-made suit accentuated their shoulders. Our fifteenth word is accept, which is a verb used with an object that means to take or receive something offered, receive with approval or favor. For example, to accept a present, to accept a proposal. It can also mean believe or come to recognize an opinion, explanation, etc. as valid or correct. For example, the explanation was accepted by the group. Our sixteenth word is acceptable, which is an adjective that means capable or worthy of being accepted. It can also mean meeting only minimum requirements, barely adequate. For example, the performance was acceptable. 
Our 17th word is acceptance, which is a noun that means the action of consenting to receive or undertake something offered. It can also mean the quality or state of being accepted or acceptable. For example, her theories have gained widespread acceptance. Our 18th word is access, which is a noun that means the ability, right, or permission to approach, enter, speak with, or use. Admittance. For example, we have access to the files. It can also mean a way or means of approach. For example, the only access to the house was a dirt road. It is also a verb used with an object that means to make contact with or gain access to, approach, enter, etc. For example, patients can access their medical records through the online portal. Our 19th word is accessibility, which is a noun that means the quality of being easy to approach, reach, enter, speak with, use, or understand. For example, transportation in boats, land vehicles, and eventually aircraft dramatically increase the accessibility of most locations on the planet. It can also mean the quality of being suitable or adapted for use by people with disabilities. Our 20th word is accession, which is a noun that means the act of coming into the possession of a right, title, office, etc. For example, accession to the throne. It is also a verb that means record the addition of a new item to a library, museum, or other collection. For example, each book must be accessioned and the data entered into the computer. Our 21st word is accessorize, which is a verb used with an object that means to fit or equip with accessories. For example, he accessorized his car with special seat covers. It is also a verb used without an object that means to choose or wear accessories. For example, well-dressed people accessorize according to the occasion. Our 22nd word is accessory which is a noun that is a subordinate or supplementary part, object, or the like, used mainly for convenience, attractiveness, safety, etc. For example, hardware stores have a variety of home accessories. It is also an article or set of articles of dress as gloves, earrings, or a scarf that adds completeness, convenience, attractiveness, etc. to one's basic outfit. Our 23rd word is accident, which is a noun that means an undesirable or unfortunate happening that occurs unintentionally and usually results in harm, injury, damage, or loss. For example, automobile accidents. It is also any event that happens unexpectedly without a deliberate plan or cause. Our 24th word is acclaim which is a verb that means to announce or proclaim with enthusiastic approval. For example, the conference was acclaimed as a considerable success. It can also mean enthusiastic and public praise. For example, John Williams has won critical acclaim for his movie scores. Our 25th word is acclimate, which is a verb that means to accustom or become accustomed to a new climate or environment. Adapt. Our 26th word is acclivity, which is a noun that means an upward slope, as of ground, and ascent, opposed to declivity. Our 27th word is accolade, which is a noun that means an award or privilege granted as a special honor or as an acknowledgement of merit. For example, the ski resort achieved the ultimate accolade of playing host to the Winter Olympics. It is also a light touch on the shoulder with the flat side of a sword done in the ceremony of conferring knighthood. Our 28th word is accommodate, which is a verb used with an object that means to do a kindness or a favor to, oblige. For example, to accommodate a friend by helping them move into a new house. It can also mean to provide suitably, supply, usually followed by with. For example, they were kind enough to accommodate me with a ride to the train station. 
Our 29th word is accompaniment, which is a noun that means something that is supplementary to or complements something else, typically food. For example, sugar snap peas make a delicious accompaniment for salmon. It can also mean a musical part that supports or partners a solo instrument, voice, or group. Our 30th word is accomplice, which is a noun that is a person who knowingly helps another in a crime or wrongdoing, often as a subordinate. Our 31st word is accomplish, which is a verb used with an object that means to bring to its goal or conclusion, carry out, perform, finish. For example, I have a lot of tasks to accomplish today. Our 32nd word is accomplishment, which is a noun that means something that has been achieved successfully. For example, her family was proud of her academic accomplishments. Our 33rd word is accord, which is a verb used with an object that means give or grant someone power, status, or recognition. For example, the powers accorded to the head of state. It is also a verb used without an object that means to be consistent or in harmony. For example, a theory that accords with the known facts. It is also a noun that means agreement, conformity. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.